There are thousands of new arrivals on the southern border, waves of parents and children. Carmen Mejia and her son, Leon, are tired. Sí, tiene gripe. Trae gripe. Mejia's boy is sick with a cold. The group willingly surrenders after crossing the Rio Grande from Mexico. Taking care and feeding immigrants who've crossed into the U.S. illegally has fallen almost solely in one law enforcement agency, the U.S. Border Patrol. They don't say asylum, but there's a, they use a, a lot of terms. A lot of times they use, I'm scared, yeah. I fear for my life, gangs. Right. Near Mission, Texas, these people take their first step into the federal immigration system, signing intake forms and showing any documents that can help them declare asylum. More than 66,000 people crossed the border illegally in February, including 36,000 parents and children. That's a record high, according to the United States Border Patrol, and even more families could be coming in the spring when border crossings traditionally pick up. Eventually, these immigrants will go to the Central Processing Facility in McAllen, Texas. The AP was not allowed to film inside, but the agency says it's scrambling to keep up with the volume. The facility received worldwide attention last June during the Trump administration's enforcement of the zero tolerance policy, which led to thousands of family separations. In the last year, two small children died in Border Patrol custody, leading to expanded medical screenings. Officials say this particular center is not meant for families, but that's precisely what they're handling. The average wait here is 60 hours. After release, groups typically arrive at places like the Catholic Charities Respite Center in McAllen, which too is feeling the strain of increased demand and local politics. City commissioners ordered the church to vacate the building by May after complaints from neighbors. For now, the charity provides food and medical checkups before these people move on to their next destination. What I found is that they're not really anxious to tell somebody that they've got a fever or they're not real anxious to tell somebody that they're having an infection or having a problem because they don't want to detain themselves any longer than what the customary number of days is. Dr. Martin Garza is one of the volunteers providing care to immigrants like 21-year-old Honduran Lily Romero. She gave birth to her infant son while on a bus, making the journey through Mexico. But we know that the root of the problem is how these people don't feel safe in their own country. And Community activist Martha Sanchez says building more border wall isn't going to stop the uptick in immigration. And as long as we don't address that issue, we want to continue to try to put patches in, a, in, a, in something that is much bigger. Bigger crowds taxing both federal authorities and local charities. John Moan, Associated Press, McAllen, Texas. <laughs>